What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top five hidden features inside the 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan. All right, guys, so if you're familiar with the channel at all, you'll know that I love making these hidden feature videos. Now, when I say hidden features, it's not always things that you might not know about, but that doesn't mean that other people don't know about them. Not everybody dives into the manual or checks forums online or watches videos like this. So I like to make these so that the vast majority of people can learn every single in and out of their brand new car. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna walk through five things in this video and I have a part two coming out very soon, but we're going to start with the first five hidden features here on the 2020 Tiguan. Now, another note, some of these features are things and most of the features are things that have been on other Volkswagens and other Tiguans in the past, but we're looking at the 2020 here. So for people that have a 2020, these are hidden features they may not know about on their 2020. Also, this is an SEL, so it's not the SEL Premium. So a few things that you're missing, the driver customization features as far as seat position, you are missing out on that, unfortunately, and a few other things here and there. But for the most part, these features are found on almost every trim level, so you should have good success there. Also, quickly, if you guys are big into tech and you like all these kind of little tech gadgets and features that we've got going on on all these different displays and everything, check out my all-new tech channel. It's called Mets Tech and I've got a link for it in the card above, and I'll put a little clip here on screen. I'm just trying something new. I'm big into technology, and I wanna be able to share that with you guys. I love making car videos. I love reviewing cars. I love talking about the technology inside of cars, but there's other things outside of uh, you know the vehicle manufacturing world that I'm big into. So I made a full review of the brand new 2020 iPad Pro. If you're interested, check the card above, hit that subscribe button, it would really help me out. I think I have around 18, 19 subscribers. So if you guys could do me a huge favor and subscribe to that, it would really help me out. Let's get back into the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one has to do with the car in reverse and the rear vision camera. So we'll combine them. It's almost like a one and 1.5. So when you put your car in reverse, obviously you'll get access to that rear view camera, but there's a special feature you can enable that actually will put your rear wiper on when you go in reverse. So it'll clear your windshield in case you aren't taking advantage of the rear camera and you're still doing this one. You remember that for rear cameras, the old up and over. You have a nice lady in your car, just kind of boom. Now you got the arm around her, but no, it'll clear your rear view window off for you. Super convenient so you can see what's behind you. Now, if it doesn't do this, what you want to do is you want to go to vehicle, go to settings, and then scroll down to mirrors and wipers. So you hit that, and then you've got two different options. You've got the ability to turn your rain sensing windshield wipers on and off, and then there's one that says wipe rear window in reverse. So make sure that is checked, otherwise obviously it won't happen. Now the second part to this, so 1.5, is that when you are in a reverse, obviously you can see the rear vision camera. If you're in a part of the globe where, let's say you got strong snowy winters and you get a lot of snow and dirt and grime on your rear view camera or uh, maybe in a dusty climate like somewhere south where you've got a lot of dry mud kind of flying around that kind of stuff you're going to want to clear that rear vision camera off and it's not always convenient when you're driving to hop out and clear that off but what Volkswagen has done is they put a tiny little jet sprayer right on the corner of the rear vision camera and it allows you to spray it off right from the driver's seat here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, I've got the rear vision camera up so you can see it. All you're gonna do is push the wiper handle here on the right side of the steering wheel forward. You'll hear it and boom, it will start spraying that rear vision camera off just like that, getting it nice and clean for you so you can keep on driving how you're driving without any issues with going in reverse. So that is one and two one and a half. Let's move on to number two. Now, number two is another one that's kind of hidden in the menu, so you may not be familiar with it, but you can actually sync your heated seats and your heated steering wheel together. So what you're going to want to do is if you don't have this feature already enabled, which some of these things come pre-enabled by the dealer, so it really just depends. But if your steering wheel and your heated seats are not syncing, here's what you're going to want to do. Go to climate control on the screen here, go to settings, and then it's the only setting. Synchronized seat and steering wheel heating. So just make sure you check that and then you can actually pick which temperature you want. So low, medium or high. Let's go ahead and put it on medium. So once that is enabled, it synchronizes your heated steering wheel and your heated seats to heat up together and to the same temperature, which is super nice. Just a one touch thing, super convenient to have. So that is number two, synced heated steering wheel and heated seats. Let's move on to number three. 
Now, number three is actually one of my favorites, and there's a reason for that I'll get to in just a sec. But if you've ever been driving and you use the Park Pilot system, you'll know that it sometimes has a super annoying sound. And we've all been there. We all have different ears and we all are sensitive to different pitches more so than other people. So maybe someone has a ringtone that you absolutely hate. It's got that super high pitch noise, but they actually like it. That kind of situation, it's never fun to be in. But you can actually adjust that if you get in this car or purchase this car and you do not like the sound. So what you're gonna wanna do is go back to that vehicle menu again, go to settings, then scroll down to parking and maneuvering. Then you've got your park pilot system all laid out here. You've got automatic activation you can enable. You can also enable audio lowering and automatic ducking, which basically what that means is uh, when there's uh, other music, music playing, podcast playing, navigation playing, it'll automatically uh, lower the volume of that to allow for the parking system to kind of not compete with it necessarily, but both of them to have their own turn as far as audio goes. But nonetheless, you can also go in here. You've got front volume, front pitch, rear volume, and rear pitch. So obviously rear volume, front volume, you can just adjust how loud it is. But then if you go ahead and go into front pitch, you actually... So then once you're in that park pilot system, you can go to front pitch or rear pitch, and then you've got one through nine that you can pick from, and it is exactly what you'd think it is. It changes the pitch. So you can go to a higher pitch or a lower pitch depending on what you like. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are your different options. And what I kind of like to do is I like to like play around with them like, make a little song, but you don't have to do that. You can just adjust it to what isn't annoying to you at the time. And you can do exactly the same thing with the rear pitch. So one all the way up to nine. And then obviously, like I said, you can also adjust that volume if you prefer a different level, if it's a little too loud for you. So that is number three, Park Pilot Pitch Adjustment. So number four is another customization option that you may not have known existed. And it has to do with the digital dash. Now, if you have some of the higher trim Volkswagens, I think it may be an option on the SE, but it's definitely here on the SEL and the SEL Premium. You're able to, you know, go through Volkswagen's preset kind of custom views for the digital dash. There's a couple different options, not a ton, but I always love like extra customization and you do have that. It's just harder to find. So with their presets you get, let's see, on this specific one, you have your average miles per gallon and then you have how many miles left on the tank. But what you can do is you can go to vehicle and then you can go to settings, go under instrument cluster, and then go to settings on the active info display screen. Once you've got this up, it'll give you two little circles on either side and you have two views to choose from auto and classic. And then you've got view one, two, and three that are your custom views that you can adjust. So let's go to view one and it's got economy and range as my two settings, but I can go ahead and just swipe through and I've got plenty of options. I've got distance, travel time, assistance systems, route guidance, range, destination info, compass, elevation, audio, acceleration, economy, we're back to the start there. And the same on the other side. So I can customize that completely how I want it. So if I were to choose, I would probably put maybe my audio on one side and probably my assistant systems on the other side would be my first preset. And then I can go to view two and I can customize that too. So I'll put my route guidance on one side and my uh, range on the other side. And then I'll go to view three and go ahead and do destination info and travel time, sure. So then if I switch between those th three, it actually has saved what I've put in and it auto adjusts on the digital dash right there. So you can have all your custom views right there that you don't normally get just by clicking through the three presets that the digital dash comes with. So that's super awesome active info display customization. And the fifth and final hidden feature is a super convenient one. And uh, it's actually in the name. It's the window convenience feature. So how this is gonna work, if you go ahead and shut the car off, if you're, you know, gotten out of it, it's the system is completely shut down. You can just press and hold on the driver's side window button. And all the windows come down and the sunroof uh, shade opens. Super convenient. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, it also cracks the sunroof. So that's super convenient if you're kind of 
this may be more for younger people or, or I guess if you're a guest in a car and someone goes into a store and leaves the car off and you're getting hot, you want the windows open, but they didn't leave the key so you can't do it. You just press and hold on that button and boom, all of them will open. Now, unfortunately, there's not a way to press and hold and get all the windows to come back up. I think that would be super convenient if they would add that in. I, I don't know why they don't. It doesn't seem that hard, but unfortunately you can't do that. But what you can do is if you're on the outside of the car, You can just press your finger on the button, it will lock, and then if you hold it down, all the windows will roll back up. Now, if the windows don't work correctly when you try to do this, here's what you need to do. Go onto your menu, go to vehicle, go to settings, scroll down to opening and closing, and then there's a window operation drop down, and you wanna to go to convenience opening and drop down to all windows. You also have the option to turn it off, uh, which it's probably off if that's your uh, issue, or you can do it just to the driver window. But I like to set it to all windows, so it's super convenient if you need to do that. All right, guys, and those are the top five hidden features inside the 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below which one's your favorite or did I miss one? Let's have a conversation about it down in the comments section. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see every single new Volkswagen the second they hit our lots. And for a special heads up look at part two coming very soon. We'll see you in the next one.